Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking and today we're going to be talking about Birkeland Currents. Now I've made uh, several videos on Birkeland Currents and I've always used this lovely red and blue picture, an orange picture and this two uh, and this blue and red picture. This picture is not my picture, I didn't put it together. The Electric Universe and the Plasma Universe scientists put this picture together. Now, let's take a closer look at it. Now, this, of course, is a different configuration of the, se of the uh, same picture. I'd like you to notice, on the two side pictures, at the top of it, it's got like a crown on it, with three. People have been counting these as if there's somehow three strands in a Birkeland current. There isn't. You see this picture in the middle? See, this isn't a picture of a wire. This is a diagram of what's happening in the two pictures left and right. And we can see by the writing that this is why it's explained this way. In the center, in blue and red, twisted into a double helix, as we see here, filamentary current or plasma cable. Now you see, there is only two in a double helix because one is positive and one is negative because this is charged plasma and when you have a charge you can only have positive and negative charge so because one pulls and one pushes that's how you get double helix motion so there is no three strands here in these two pictures it looks like it but if we follow it down we see the circles which prove it's a double helix and the picture in the middle is a diagrammatic representation of the filaments because the center picture is about fil filamentary currents or plasma cables which are either positive and negative. There is no third charge. There is only, in a charged plasma, there is only positive and negative and they form a double helix. So if anybody says that I made this picture up or I drew it, or well, that's my explanation in the middle. They would be uh, an ignorant kind of liar. Uh, this is a science picture, and the diagram in the centre represents the two Birkeland currents that are left and right of it. It even tells you that you will find constricting magnetic fields along it. And if you've been watching my videos, you will know that I speak of heteromach formations. And this is double helix vortex to uh, Ouroboros ring, which is how plants grow. And because it's electrical, positive and negative, this can be replicated throughout the universe. And so, a Birkeland current in space has a heteromach formation of galaxy after galaxy. Which, of course, is the same as Peratt's column. And so I've explained the heteromach because it only has positive and negative, because it is charged par particles, so there is no third anything, no third uh, helix. There isn't one because it's only positive and negative. And as I said, plants form a heteromach by this exact formation of matter. And so because the universe is electricity and magnetism, so all galaxies are formed along a Birkeland current in a heteromach formation. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And uh, I thought that was... Uh, an explanation that was needed due to uh, some people don't understand that a Birkeland current is only positive and negative because it's charged plasma. So there can't be a third helix. There can only be a double helix of positive and negative. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ and I love real science. Thanks a lot. Bye.